Hello everyone, welcome back to Modded Terraria. Do you hear that? What is that? Do you hear it? it? Seems to be coming from up here. Oh look, you've got milk. Consume your calcium, four minute duration. Uh, there it is. <laughs> anyway guys, all right, here we go. We have ourselves Skelly Dude. Skelly Dude back in action again. Courtesy of Shadows of Abaddon, the old Sacred Tools mod. And uh, to test this guy out, the air grows crystalline. Whatever, the air can stay crystalline for all I care. Let me actually, since I don't have any, let's buff. And then we're gonna test you out on her because I need something from good old pomegranate face. Because there's something I need that drops from Providence. Now, uh, I mean, I'm just gonna use this to keep healing. And as soon as we can use this. What is this crystal thing? I don't remember this. Is that mine? But we got Skeledude. Yes! Skella dude, thank you so much for the help, buddy. What I needed from her was this divine geode, I'm pretty sure. We got an unholy essence as well. And then this stuff, which I'm gonna sell, but I needed. Stop it. I needed this, yes. I needed these. We got 23 of them. Excellent, excellent. So uh we're just gonna dump five in there for now. And we're making this, the Profane Soul Artifact. I mean, look at that thing. And it summons help. A Healer Guardian, a Defensive Guardian, and an Offensive Guardian. Now, we only have two of them. Why? Why do we not have all three? Does it tell me? Wait, Quan, get out of here, Quan. Defensive and Healer. So I don't have the Offensive one. If you're wearing the Tarragon Setter Stronger, I mean, I'm wearing this, Auric Tesla. Now, I have the offensive as well. I don't know, maybe we'll keep all of these guys. We're gonna totally wreck. We're gonna totally wreck things. Uh, because I want to go into the ethereal right now. And there's something I wanna get in the ethereal, uh, which requires us to, yeah. Get a bunch of these, here, give me that. This is the only mob that's going to spawn in here at the moment. And I'm just going to go to here, I think. And uh, let's see. I want to fight the Emblem of Fun. Okay, let's make that. So we can fight the Fun Mode bosses too at some point. And Revengeance, no. I do not want to make that. Or does this deactivate it? It's already Revengeance. Whatever, I'm not gonna make that. Uh, so I need th this. And then we also need... Pro I think that's the only one other than the Moon Lord one. Uh, Apothema. I need to fight all these bosses. But for right now, let's just make these two. Okay, so now we gotta stay in the Ethereal. And actually, I need to go underground. I guess let's just go down here someplace. All right, we're going to fight this first boss in here in the graveyard in the darkness. But first, I need to make a little bit of a pixel art that I've been wanting to make in here for a very long time. Alright guys, so they are both done. We have this one over here, which is like a chibi version of a red aramer 
from Super Ghouls and Ghosts. And this is the magician from Ghouls and Ghosts. If you didn't realize it, this entire this entire graveyard build here is uh, directly... Well, it's basically built almost one, one for one based on the uh, Super Ghouls and Ghosts version. Or the Super NES version of Ghouls and Ghosts, which is called Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Anyway, so let's uh, turn it back into... Wait, I gotta... Oops. There we go. All right, because you can place it on walls now, it's difficult to use it <laughs> to switch it into the uh, ethereal when you're standing in front of all this wall. All the wall. Now, we need to fight Diorytus and Andesia. And we're gonna do so right now. And we're gonna totally own them, but that's the point, it's fine. Ow. It's totally fine. They have a bunch of different forms though. And no, they don't, because they're dead. <laughs> oh man, and Dio has been defeated. Now, right here, it's windy. Hang on. Yeah, I installed that mod too for weather, different weather effects. And I got a bunch of these Dradons remotes. I don't remember what they do. I forgot completely what they do. Anyway, so we're gonna fight Moon Lord right here uh, with milk, with Skeledude. Let's do it. The Ethereal Moon Lord. Boom. All right. Ow, what the heck? I'm confused. What in the heck? Okay. Uh, hang on. Let me, ow, man. What is all this? Holy crap. Dude, I just got completely owned. Oh, poor Skella dude. <laughs> He's laughing at me. Um, what the heck? Oh, it has, it's because of this. It's because of this. Yes, carrying it inside your inventory will put you into fun mode, yeah. So let's actually put this over here because I don't want to be in fun mode right now. Okay, let's do it. Ethereal Moon Lord, take two. Well, hopefully. <laughs> he does do a lot of damage. Did we get that eye? Yes, we did. Kill this eye. We killed that eye. I think. Okay, now we just... Is it dead yet? Oh, no, it's not. Come on. Let's actually just stand here like this. We actually have to dodge. Alright, now just kill the heart. Ow. Kill the hearts. Yes. A million. All right, here we go. I'm actually going to use something more damaging than this, I think. No, we got him. We got him. There we go. Cool. Ow, stop. Imagine. Hey, hey, hey. Cut it out. You're dead. <laughs> what is hitting me? Stop it. Okay. Wow, we got a million things that dropped from a million different mods. Calcium, yes. We've got the calcium. <laughs> now, let me just see. So, what I wanted... Wait, what is this? The cat has been inside of this box since 1935. It may be either dead or alive, but you can't understand from there. Right-click to open. Oh, We have a dead cat? That's not nice. <laughs> it's still radioactive. What? the heck man the things that i really needed we don't need that i needed this allows the use of ethereal accessories outside the ethereal see now we could leave the ethereal and we have this the world of etheria your projectiles are immune to time stop when in the ethereal so i could equip uh this and this wait does that have to be at the top anymore? No, it could be anywhere, I think. Cool. And uh, I guess we could take them off, too. So now I could stop time, and I'm immune to it, and I could also shoot while time is stopped. Yes, I just wanted that ability. There's also Father Time, 
another accessory that increases the length of time stop and also my movement speed when time is stopped and other stuff. But anyway, for now, okay. What I'm going to do right now is because this episode I've been working on for quite a long time. And this is now. <laughs> this, oh, see you guys later, buddies. This is now. We're going to go to then. We're going to go to last week when I was working on the chasm, adding a bunch of detail to it. Actually, guys, before we do that, I want to do something over here before I forget. Don't want to forget. I have a huge list of different things that I want to do. We need to add another statue to this. We need to add statue number five. So, from last week's no me. Uh, what are these even called? I forgot. Grave? Yes. Golden grave marker. And then I need some glass. Just two blocks of glass. Actually, we'll grab the whole thing. And that's it. Now... This is not going to center. So, where do we want to put this? I guess, should I put it underneath? Let me see what this is like. Uh, do that. Nah. What about this? Come here. Do I want it like that? Or how about, wait, where's my glass? Right there. I'm gonna do it. I don't have infinite reach and I'm like freaking out. <laughs> yeah, I think I want to kind of then put another one over here ish. Yeah, for the next time. Anyway, right now, where how did I do this? Number one, number three, number one, number five, and colon and then space. Okay. Number five, colon, one space. We got Grand Pappy 24. Boom. Forever immortalized on the shrine of Nomi. Because Grand, Grand Pappy 24 was the first person to spot Nomi in the previous episode. Anyway, guys, all right. Now I'm going to travel back in time a little bit. All right, guys, so I added a bunch of detail to the chasm area. Uh, well, including gates right here, large gates, a bunch of plants all over the place. I moved the druid here from Thorium mod, pretty sure. Yeah, Yarrow from Thorium mod up into the Baca tree. And I added some more background trees over here. Just like a lot of like tiger lilies and stuff like that from uh, Furniture, Food, and Fun. And then I made this look more like ruins. This tower thingy, whatever it is. Entrance to the bridge down there. And yeah, just a lot more flowers and stuff all around. Not finished yet, of course. I'm going to add a lot more to it. And then the bridge, which I used the teleporter trick... Or, in my case, I actually used the, uh, this thing, the unstable staff, in order to float all these tiki torches, and then I put the work tables underneath them. Make the bridge. And then I have the universal crafter over here, which should be, I think, like, all of the crafting stations, or almost all of them, that I'm using in every mod and vanilla, I think. And then, of course, we have a nice little, uh, like a shrine to Ori right here. So boom, I'm gonna have to like come over here. Oops, let me uh, just hide the wings. That's the invisible die is very useful for hiding different things like that if you want to, by the way. But yeah, I like the idea of having to come over here to this area in order to turn into Ori. Like, if I want to play as Ori, I have to come over here and then just, like, enter the shrine and then use that 
whatever. Anyway, and then we go down here. There's a bunch of trees. I added a nice little blacksmith forge over here. And then down here is the wood house speed build that I just did. Some, uh, a clothesline, basically, with towels and stuff hanging from it. All up and down the chasm, there's going to be all kinds of houses like this. Like wood houses and like bridges and stuff like that. I want it to be like kind of like quote unquote junky. Like kind of junky looking. Just like a bunch of like wood houses and stuff with uh, clotheslines and different things all over the place. But not really junky. It's going to look good or as good as I can make it pretty much but still sort of like cluttered in a way. And yeah, I wanted to like decorate it and design it in a way like nice and thick walls and all that. And then just put a bunch of clutter inside of it. Anyway, so that's that. All right, guys, we are back in present time. And before we go ahead and do something like I need to fight some bosses. Ooh, extend grip. Wait. Ooh. Extend hammer, extend pickaxe, invisible block, yes. Blue back wall, green back wall, red back wall, white back wall, yellow back wall, yes. Yes. <laughs> okay, so I installed the uh, chroma key wall mod, which allows me to... It's going to allow me to do some pretty cool things, I think. Like, set up a green screen in my world and add video footage in the background and stuff like that. We're going to mess with that soon enough. But, uh, okay. First thing I want to do, we're going to use this little guy. Yeah. Nice. We got our friendly, friendly little blue jay. Blue bird. Guides troubled souls on the right path. From Celeste. Amazing. And uh, I have to fight bosses from the uh enigma mod we need to fight the steampunk trio hey come back hey no 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 there you go okay gotta fight the steampunk trio but first i need to add something over here we gotta do quartz's barbecue so i'm gonna put this down and then we're gonna go like that and we're gonna go like that and then i'm gonna go like that and this Yes. <laughs> Quartz is a good good dude, good friend of mine. Uh, and Quartz has this barbecue build that's just, like, legendary. And I must add a Quartz barbecue into my world. Now, we just have to actually uh, do this and then this. Just so we can walk through it. Okay. Now, I have a Quartz Barbecue. So, the Annihilator, we need Steamo Vision. Let me actually get over here. Because there's something really interesting that was added to Enigma mod. And QWERTY's, QWERTY's bosses and more. I have to get something from that mod as well. And I guess... Well, first things first. Let's see. I need to make... First, I want to make a weapon from this. I want to make this Hallow's Eve. So I need eight of these for that. And then Steam of Vision, I need three more. Wow, absolutely perfect. So Hallow's Eve and then Steam of Vision. We should be able to make both these things. I hope. Actually, wait a minute. What's this? Souls of Sot. So I need them. Okay, from space creatures. We just got to go up to space. Hallow's Eve, right here, boom. And yeah, it's Mystic Weapon. Excellent. So I'm going to need... Well, let's reforge this first. I'm going to need more Souls of Hot as well. Look at that. So is it supposed to be floating around me, I think? I think... Oh my. I think maybe... Is it because of UI scale? So I got a 140. Yeah, it's UI scale. Okay. Good to know. I thought it may be that, but I... You know... I play at 1080p, having this tiny inventory all the way up there. Like, I can't do that. Oh, what the heck was that? Oh, because we're switching different uh, mystic classes. Remember? Wait, I can't reforge this? Oh, wow. Okay. 
can reforge it. And I have this thing. I need to do some tweaking in the config for extensible inventory to move these buttons, the negative plus, and then this. I'm going to move this whole UI over here a little bit, maybe. So that it's not in the way of this, which is another mod I just got from Uncle Danny that we have to take a look at. Uh, so, okay. This is what it does. That's uh, destruction. Okay. And then we can switch to this. And that's, what is that? Illusion? Wait. Now this is destruction. Okay. Then we switch to this and this is conjuration. Oh, we can conjure little pumpkins. Amazing. Oh, that reminds me. Before we go and do the other thing, let's go all the way down here. Okay. I need to talk to you right here, Permafrost. Where is Lord Yarum? He must be up to something. I have two of them, by the way. They keep spawning, two of them. I can't get rid of one. I could kill one, and then he immediately spawns again. Still. So yeah, I noticed he had this bear's eye. Summons a pet guardian angel. Stop that. And then magic scarf and hat. Transforms the holder into a snowman. Don't let the demon steal your nose. I got plenty of money, so let's go and get that. Let's get out of here. And... It's time, perennial ore, sure, whatever. Put that away. Okay, so bear's eye. Okay, we got this guy. It's, that's a, what is it? <laughs> it's a bear. Okay, what's that from? Is that a reference to something? It's like a strange black cat, but I'm gonna keep good old blue jay right here. And then magic scarf and hat. Wait a minute, I gotta turn this off. Yes, look at that. Amazing. Okay. This goes through tiles, too. Soul of Sot. Sweet. Give me that. We are flying. <laughs> yes, we got another one. I think I only need three. Hang on. Let me uh, summon some pumpkins. This is amazing. I love this. Yes. Yes, please. Uh, so we have three souls of Sot. Oh, wait. Yes, that's all I need. Three of them. Ow. But I need now more uh, souls of hot. What is that? An armored whisperer? What? Oh my god. What are you? That's awesome. What mod are you from? Split mod. Okay, makes sense. Ow. I can't move. I'm confused. Give me this. Give me all the stuff. Ouch. What is hitting me? <laughs> Stop it. Observe the wild snowman in its natural habitat. Okay, anyway, I just wanted to mess around with that a little bit. <laughs> I know, I'm a weirdo. Okay, so, yes. Instead, I took my armor off again, because instead of using something from Calamity, we are going to use set of armor from Enigma, of course. And so we're gonna make the Diorites helmet and then the Andeo chest plate and Andesia leggings. So, all right, here we go. And now we can equip this. And this is a mystic set of armor. If you watched my series, uh, Arcane Odyssey, this is the armor that I used throughout a lot of it. Steampunk Trilogy, part one, no. Um, soon enough, but I'm going to make another weapon just in case, because even though I'm using this and it's a mystic set of armor, uh, I don't have other accessories. Like, I'm not sure if 66 mystic damage is going to be enough. I need 12 bismal bars and 5 ethereal essence to make this bismal blaster, which is right here. What's this? Living wood bow. Bismal blaster. Let's make one. So we got a slow one. I got to reforge that. Whatever, we'll keep demonic. That's fine. Boom. And now, the Steamovision, the Annihilator. Let's go. Oh, hello there, buddy. You know what? We're actually doing pretty decent damage with this. Now we're out. Oh, let's just summon a bunch of pumpkins <laughs> or jack o' lanterns. And then, ow. Let's see what is what is this like. Oh, that is way better. Okay way way better see summons all this stuff everywhere 
He's like Brain of Cthulhu, obviously. Let me heal, actually. But he summons all this other stuff all over the place. Now, where'd you go? There you are. Okay. I have no platforms, but... It's all good. Oh, uh, you know what I do have? I have this. And you're dead! The Annihilator has been defeated with party bullets all over the place. Confetti. Confetti cannoned. Now... Wait, what is that? Oh, okay. 13 minutes. That's good. Let me dump these in there. We're going to just... I need the cell slot mod. I think I'm going to install that. I really, really like the cell slot mod. Okay, so Annihilator's treasure bag. Let me just do this. Boom. We got Harvester parts. Okay. We got Souls of Thought. Nice. We got Steam bars, which I really need. And Cog of Knowledge. All right. And then Greater Healing Potions. We'll just keep them. Why not? And now, Slybertron, which I believe I can summon Slybertron <laughs> during the daytime, right? I can. Okay. Where are you? There you are. Let's go. Same weapon. Actually, ow. See, our armor is not that amazing, so I'm a little worried here. I don't want to get clobbered. Oh, I see, I see. I was like, what is hurting me? Because I'm shooting a bunch of stuff out, too. And yeah, now there's a gear that's going to come around. He's steam. And he shoots these things. These stars that split. Phase 2 weapons activated. Alright. And now we're going to switch to this. And I'm going to actually use this. Why not? We have Kalam. This is an ultra modded series. So why don't I combine all the mods together? You know? Uh, oops, wrong thing. Ouch. I like this the most. This is awesome. Okay, it's a little slow, but it follows. Slybertron is coming for you. <laughs> oh my god, he is, isn't he? Holy crap. Ow. <laughs> but my favorite, favorite boss comes up next. After Slybertron. Who's been defeated? Ow, stop. Now... We are... What is our defense? 95? Oh, because of this, too? That's crazy. I thought it was... Yeah, it's 70 now. Okay. So, let me go back in here, do that. Okay, might as well keep these on me for a second here. And, alright. Boom. Now we get the pipe works. I don't know how long this episode's gonna be, but whatever. Steam train time. Uh... We're buffed. Open the map because we're going to need the map for this one. If you've never seen this boss, enjoy. <laughs> okay. So we got ourselves the steam train. It just drives back and forth. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. It's like the most amazing thing ever. Ow. Okay. Stay out of the steam. Get a bunch of pumpkins here. All right. Ow. Okay, now we got these things coming around. Coming around the bay. And steam that homes in on us. Woo! All right. Yeah, I gotta move around a lot more. Where are you at? Choo choo. <laughs> Hyperdrive. Oh no. Here, let's get this. Here. It follows your cursor. It's nice. It's too slow. Did somebody die? No. Alright. Get it! Ugh. Okay, that hurt. Let's kill him with this. Warp drive now. Right in the face. Okay, the steam train has been defeated. Now, where's my loots? Here we go. Hopefully, we don't die from residual steam. Okay, so let me get this again. I love that boss so much. <laughs> it's just totally incredible. Okay, Zippy Steam Tank. Increases mystic damage by 12%. Plus 20% overflow. Yeah, I need some more mystic stuff. Reduce the cooldown between mystic bursts. And there's also these potions 
Okay, let me just put this stuff all over here. Put that in there. We got all these souls now. Excellent. Harvester parts. We're going to use that soon, too. Not in this episode, but I want to start working on the auto potion farm. Anyway, so hello, Lord Crimblesworth. <laughs> Trains are all the rage in Vitruvia these days. Vitruvia, huh? So we need a bunch of these gears. Now, like a cog, but better. I'm going to buy like a full stack of them because I have tons and tons of money. I have more than 600 platinum. Like, that's nothing. I got way more than that. And then he sells a train pet and then the mechanical stuff and then the steampunk boss spawners as well. Okay, but this is all I needed, the gears. Now, okay, here we go. Brass fan. Make one of these for now. MKR boosts you to the right. Boom. <laughs> and then the brass ring. Uh, flying through the rings is not advised as your wings will override the boost. Okay, we'll probably take our wings off when we do all this. So these things, these things from Enigma mod boost you. Okay. Now, I don't know if they do anything else besides just boost you, but then from QWERTY's bosses and more mod at the mechanic here, I don't know if she sells them all the time, but we got a fan. Blows things away, can be toggled on and off. So it blows things away to the left or right, okay? And then we got this, blows things up. Items, items. We're gonna buy a full stack of both of these because that's the way I roll. Oh my God, that's a lot of platinum. <laughs> well, I gotta spend it on something, why not? I'm not gonna use all these, but it's nice to have them, you know? It's nice to know that I'll never run out. Okay, look at that. I have three platinum left from, like, how much? It was a lot. But then also, from this slot right here is from Uncle Danny's new mod, which is called Gadget Galore. So we got this. We got the dome designer. All right. And then we got the line layer. Boom. And we got the planet placer and rectangle returner. And then also the altar container allows you to contain an evil altar and pick it up. I'm just going to do this real fast here. Let's try the circle creator. So this makes circles of different size, sizes. Dome designer, just half circle. Draws a line from point A to point B. Okay. Uh, planet placer draws a filled circle. Okay. So you can build your own planetoids easily and quickly. Uh, draws a rectangle. That's insane. So we're going to put glass in this build slot right here. And we're going to try just using the circle creator. Now, here we go. Look at this. Wait. So you could start, obviously, you know, a diameter of three. You can't really make a circle. But then as you drag out, it just, check this out. Look. Wait, let's just go in here. Oh. Well, it didn't place it exactly where I wanted it. And that's probably also because of the, uh, the, uh, UI scale that I'm using, most likely. I've noticed that with certain things, with a lot of different mods, because I have 140 UI scale. It's only because, like, if I don't use UI scale, then, you know, wait, where is it? Oh, did they just get, <gasps> wait a minute. Oh no, they're getting put into the right slot. Okay, here we got 999 again. Excellent. Um, I'm a little bit scared of this thing, to be honest. It allows me to pick up an altar. So, no, it broke it. Okay, now I gotta find out where that is. <laughs> where the uh, hallowed or corruption is. So, ow. I don't know. See, allows you to contain an altar and pick it up. Can be placed. Okay, but it still breaks it. Okay, so you can place it wherever you want. I see, but it still breaks it. It would be really cool if it didn't break it. That would that's what I thought it was and like the use for me.
All right, that should be enough. Uh, I just trash this because it's you could just make it from anything anyway. Uh, okay, so <laughs> we got brass fan shoots you over to the left. No, how do I place this thing? Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, look at it spinning. I don't know how fast it's gonna do it. Boost you to the right. Okay, so let's put this one over here <laughs> and let's give this a try. Nice, okay. Very cool. Now, we could use these to travel around the world very quickly, including up. <laughs> here goes nothing. Oh man, wait. What? So, hang on. There we go. All right, but now, okay, so we got that. Those are the Enigma fans and all that. Now, let's see, where are the other things? Uh, let's re-equip this. Switch to that, please. Okay, so these fans blows things away. It can be toggled on and off by right-clicking or by wire. So, okay. These place on ground. Let's, uh, vertical fan. Oh, wait, what does that say? For the love of fandom, don't break this when it's blowing. Your game will crash. Yeah, let's please not do that. I think it's facing the wrong way. It looks like it's facing down. It is. Okay, don't break it when it's blowing. Okay. There we go. All right, that's better. Now, can I move through these? No, these are solid. I don't know if I can actuate them. All right, let's turn this one on. It's like strong, very strong wind. I can't even walk through it. Well, very slowly, let me turn this off, turn this off, break that. Let's just break this for the for the time being and vertical fan. So we can place this blowing up or down. Good stuff. We got this blowing this way, that blowing up. So let's throw these this way and then, okay. What if I had a wall over here? We're gonna need a wall. So let's just build with blocks right here. I crashed by building next to it. Oh my God. Okay guys, so I actually did all that over again. The good thing is that the game crashed and I didn't use this thing. So now I don't have to go searching for uh, <laughs> some uh, hallowed or corruption anywhere. So anyway, let me just try this. Yes. You can actuate these things. I haven't tried this yet. So I'm just going to do that. I do not know if they're going to work when they're actuated. I do not know if I'm going to... Come on. Face up. Turn up. Turn up the heat. Wait. I need to... Let me equip these. Or I guess I could just use this. Um, let's try putting it right there. And then actuating it. And then... Oh, I gotta turn them all on. Please don't crash. Okay. <laughs> Please don't, especially this. Please don't. Hey, hey, hey. It goes through tiles, so gotta keep that in mind. Now, I just want it to be strong enough to... Well, I gotta actually put this here. Let, we don't have to actuate this one. So, there we go. Yes! Look at it! Yes! Now, you know what I'm gonna do, guys? Look, we have a floating object <laughs> for real and then i could you know be like what's up where'd that where'd it go nice i just wish that this thing boosted you up again but it makes sense that it only does it from one direction that's still awesome i'm gonna be having a lot of fun with these so what i want to do with all this with these with the enigma ones with the fans and the uh ring we're going to do, sort of uh, build like a people mover, like a human transport system through the tech base area. And then with these fans, I, with a combination of them, combination of fans and things from mech transfer, different stuff, I want to create like an item transport system. Glass tubes all throughout the underground, all throughout the mech base, or tech base, mech base, tech base, whatever. 
and transfer items that way and then store them using mech transfer and stuff. So anyway, I think we're pretty much out of time this time, though, for this episode. So I'm going to start working on that next time. Next time, we're going to have a lot of fun with those things. Those things and more. I also want to do some stuff with mech transfer. I also want to start the auto potion farm, Disco Inferno. And I just want to say again to Zach, thank you very much for creating the half health mod. I mentioned on my Discord server about how cool I think it would be, like some a mod like that that halves my HP that I think would be really useful for me in this series. And he went ahead and created it like immediately. So thank you very, very much for that. And thanks to all you guys for watching. I appreciate ya. And there's a lot of big things coming very soon. Well, there's a really, really big thing coming with this series, but I have to wait until a certain mod updates. All right, guys, but don't worry. There's uh, lots on the horizon. Trust me on that. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Peace. I'm stuck. <laughs> I got totally stuck. Oh my god. <laughs>